Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about post method with API. So we will learn practical part, theoretical part, interview questions, everything. But first of all, let's go through all the with the points. So we will learn that why we use the post method. Some people call it post API also. Uh, this is also a correct term if you want to say it. But mostly people say it post method with API. Then uh, we will make a form. Actually, I already created a small form, and uh, here you can see that this is a simple form with the just input type, nothing more than it, right? So that we can save the time, and uh, then we will just fill up the data inside it, like putting the name, email address, mobile inside it, and uh, get this data in a state. And after this uh, state data, we will submit to the API, and we will see that this data will be saved over in this API, right? Here, uh, for a moment, we have only four results. Then we will get the fifth, sixth, seventh result and all, and we will save it with the post API, right? And uh, obviously, we will test this result as I told you, and the interview questions which I asked in the previous video, I will provide you the answer. And again, I will ask you one more question. And uh, this is my Instagram account if you just want to join me here. So, uh, first thing is why we use the post method. So, post method is basically used for save the data in the database through API. Right. So, for example, I just want to send a new user, save a new user inside our database to API. That what should I do? We need to make a post API, and we will send our uh, uh, name, then email address and mobile number inside this API, and it will help us to save the data. And how actually it's work behind the scene? For that, as a front-end developer, you don't need to care about it because back-end developer will take care of it. It will automatically just get the data whenever you will just send the API and store it with the database. And uh, might be he's working in Java, PHP, Node, Python, you don't need to care about because in from every programming language, you will just get this data inside a JSON format, right? So you don't need to worry about that uh, back-end developer create the API in which language or which framework all right so now let's go through with this form here you can see that we have three fields and one button right i am just uh, getting this old data from these uh, field to these states now right so let's define the states again so that uh, you might be thinking that everything is already written here so why we are watching this video right so let's uh, just define three state and the name of these fields let's say name we have a mobile sorry first of all we we just want to put here name then uh, name can be uh, email these name belongs to the field name right and mobile mobile can uh, sorry what i'm doing actually sorry for that name and this will be mobile right and now let's define three states here const just write here a uh, name set name right and uh, just get from the use state by default value can be a blank or if you just want to put some some values here right let's take two more copies and uh, change it with the email address set email address and last one is mobile and let's change it with the uh, set mobile right so now let's uh, just bind these state with the values like value and this value will come from a name uh, name this is a name states so that's why we have to use it like this then uh, we can put uh, email address and mobile also with the values the mobile but for a moment you will find that you cannot edit these states you even you can you can try to write something here because by default we just tell that the value will be the a state but for a moment we have a blank state right so we need to just update the this state on change so just simply put here a arrow function and uh, just write here set name and inside name we can just update it with the event parameter event dot target dot value right 
and now you will find that you can update this field but you cannot modify other ones right so let's do the same thing for the two other fields solo also just write for email and uh, mobile number and let's set here set email and uh, set mobile now you will find that everything is working great yes so one thing i just want to tell you whenever you will work with the api first of all you must have to test this api with the postman also so let's try to add a fifth fifth result with the postman and then we will do the same thing from our uh, react application also right so let's just uh, remove this thing and just get a new one first of all we have to select the method and uh, and then you can ask to your backend developer what is your api url then he will tell you the api url like this and now you can ask him to what kind of data he want so he will tell you that he want to just json data right because most of the time we will use a json data in a 99 percent time and then you will ask that what data you want so he will tell you that uh, he want a name email address and mobile and id is let's say automatically generated so now you just need to send here uh, name and name can be like uh, uh, Batman right or let's use your double quotes for a moment comma email address and for email uh, let's say bat therein man.com and uh, at the last let's say we have a mobile number and the mobile number can be let's say double four double four or anything right so whenever you will hit it then you will get that status 201 201 simply means that is created and saved with the new id which is five and uh, you can see that we got a fifth result here right so we will save a six seventh eight result with the api right we will send this data with the from here so now let's uh, call a function on this button click and on this button click we will also call api so just right here on click and uh, after that let's define a function let's say my function name is save data or save user whatever you want all right right and just call it from here save data and uh, as you know this is not a class component so we must have to define here function keyword also and uh, now let's uh, try to console our all states in an object right so just define here a name email address and mobile and you will find that by default we will let's just refresh it we will get here nothing but whenever i will just add some like anil and uh, some email address and uh, some mobile number now we got the old data right this is working fine so let's uh, just convert this data to the uh, object so for that what we can do here let's take a variable or let data and just put these all these things here like this and uh, just uh, get this data and try to print here now you will find that we are able successfully able to just get convert this data to the object perfectly fine now what we want we want to call api so just try to write here fetch our api url as we done in our previous get request also right like here and then when we will use a post api then we have to add some parameters also like method um, in method uh, we can just send here post if you will uh, send a delete or uh, put method then you have to mention our your method name right and then we have to just also send a headers in headers we can have different different kind of things sometime we need to send here uh, uh, tokens also we will learn that how we can send this jwt to token with the api in the our project right but for a moment we just need to send here two things 
one what we will accept so we will accept uh, JSON data right so just write here um, application and uh, then just simply write here JSON and uh, in a second one what we will uh, second thing is uh, content type that what kind of data we will uh, receive right we want to receive context type and here we can mention here again JSON right so just right here I hope this is perfectly fine now we have to define a body in body we will just check that what data we want to send so we want to send uh, here this JS, uh, data but we can send only data in a stringify format so just write here json stringify and put our data here and uh, I've, i think everything is perfectly fine now we just want to get the result and for that let's use here then so that you can just watch it perfectly i am just going to little bit format it right in then we have a arrow function as in callback and just pass get here a parameter like uh, response we don't need to write a complete word even we can write a risp and uh, now let's try to print here console dot my god one and we can just put it even we need to just resolve one more uh, uh, a promise here because this is we will get in a stream format but still let's check what we will get inside it right because i just want to show you so all right there is some issue let me check what kind of issue we are facing because we need to just tell here colon we don't need to write here equal to sign and uh, now everything is perfect so let me just add here some more data like iron man Just put here iron at the rate man dot com and mobile number let's say double two double two right and uh, try to hit it if we have some error then we will resolve but uh, I think everything is perfect here right so whenever you will hit it then you can see that we got a uh, result here but this is actually not a readable format I will just uh, resolve this from it and then it will be readable I just want to show you that what actually we will get without uh, resolve the promise right and uh, here you can see that we send a two request from here one is optional request you will find here and uh, it will just check that service is server is working fine or not and second one is our actual result we don't need to send here two requests they are automatically sent by browser right and second one is our actual result uh, actual request it, it will actually just tell that uh, we send a post request and this is our data that we just send from this file right uh, it will be just common request parameter and then uh, this is our uh, preview that means what data we are just saved in the api right so here you can see that our result so now let's check at what we are just getting here here you can see that we got a data but uh, unfortunately we just able to send the id might be there is some problem let me just check it so i think i just made a two mistake not even one so first of all i have to just write here content so just write here content and second thing i just misspell here uh, accept right so just write here accept and uh, now let's try once again so as you, uh, you can see that uh, we just uh, misplaced the uh, sixth record now our seventh record will be saved here let's say uh, like uh, peter peter email id is Pete, peter parker and uh, let's say mobile number is 7777 and just save it now you can see that uh, this is our get request in a previous preview we are getting the complete result right and uh, here you can also see that we are perfectly saved our data so that's all 
uh, for this video but yeah one more thing when we are actually just uh, accepting this request you can see that we are getting this stream result so we cannot even um, check that what he is actually sending so that we can just uh, one make uh, one more uh, result to the promise once more so just write here response dot json and uh, then use then and again it will just give us a parameter uh, like result or whatever one whatever you want to just get and uh, now just print here console dot one result and let's see what result we are getting here so let's try to save again same data even so now you can see that we got a data inside the readable format now that time we have the uh, save this result with the id 8 right here you can see that all right so for this video i have a question can we send this uh, message body with the get request as you can see that we mentioned here post request so can we just send this body with the get request also right you can comment this uh, question answer if you want otherwise uh, i will just provide you the answer in the next video and uh, one more thing uh, in last video i asked that what is the difference between put and patch there is a lots of uh, confusion between uh, put and patch that's why i just want to show some authentic uh, answer from the wikipedia here you can see that the main difference between put and patch method is that put methods are used to request uri to supply the modified version of requested resource which replace the original version of the uh, resource that simply means it will just send some data to the server to modify or you can say that the replace the original data so let's say now i have a object like uh, with the name of anil email address and uh, some uh, mobile number right then we when we will just send this put request it will replace my previous data and add a new data here right and but in a patch what actually we will uh, just get instruction to modify the resource in the patch methods we just have some instructions to modify the resource note we don't have any data right so this is the official way otherwise we have the lots of definitions uh, for uh, different different sites and different different uh, resources right so thanks for watching this video if you have confusion you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care